Wow, wow, wow. Divide by Sheep is adorably cruel. At first glance, it may appear to be full of cute and cuddly creatures and colourful landscapes, but don't let this game fool you into thinking it's child-friendly. It certainly isn't, as you'll soon realise after your first set of severed sheep carcasses slap bloodily onto the ground. But Divide by Sheep doesn't only rely on its interesting and unique aesthetic, it also has solid mechanics and keeps creatively upping the challenge throughout. So what's the premise? Well, basically the Grim Reaper is lonely and he's decided to get some new friends. For some reason he's decided that he wants to befriend all the sheep and drag them down to hell to spend the rest of eternity with him. So he's flooded the world, leaving all the sheep stranded on islands and you need to help get them to life rafts so they can escape. The idea is you have to get a very specific number of sheep onto a life raft Otherwise, it will sink if overloaded, so some sheep must be sacrificed for the greater good. And as you rescue more and more sheep, the Reaper comes up with more creative and inventive and often gruesome ways to try and stop you. At its core, Divide by Sheep is a maths puzzle game. Now that would usually terrify me. Maths is by far the subject that I hated the most at school and I still hate maths. But Divide by Sheep does a good job of making everything so cuddly and seemingly straightforward that you don't always realise that you're doing maths. You're presented with a series of different worlds, each consisting of 30 puzzles to solve, and the developers going to be releasing more and more worlds as time goes by, and the general puzzle solving pretty much boils down to adding and subtracting. You have different numbers of sheep positioned on different islands, and you have to move them across to adjacent islands to get the correct number onto the raft. The adding and subtracting comes into play when you lose or gain sheep depending on the islands you move them to. For example, move five sheep to an island with three spaces and you'll sacrifice two to the Grim Reaper's domain. Move two sheep to an island with three sheep and five spaces and you'll create a group of five. And then things get mixed up a little bit when obstacles like barriers and laser grids that dice your sheep up are placed onto the islands. There are also other animals like wolves who will gobble up your unsuspecting bleaters and throw in a a little extra bit of challenge as the game goes on. As far as actually moving your sheep around and playing the game, this game is very clearly designed for a touchscreen interface initially, but it translates well onto the PC and it's easy enough to control. As far as scoring goes, it's very similar to games like Angry Birds and other mobile games. For each level, you're challenged to get three separate numbers of sheep to the life raft. For each group successfully rescued, you're awarded a star, and you only need one star to progress to the next level. This obviously opens up for a lot of replay ability as you go back and try and get as many stars as you possibly can. It also makes it good for short bursts of play. All in all, Divide by Sheep is a really solid example of modern puzzle gaming. All the puzzles are robust, starting out relatively simple just so you get a hold of the controls and the concept, but gradually getting a lot more difficult and leaving you racking your brain as to what you're doing wrong. Now this would be a solid puzzle game without the cuddly, if sometimes brutal aesthetic on top of it. So the developers have really done a good job of combining solid puzzle gaming with a really interesting and unique aesthetic. This really is a very satisfying game to play and a brilliant puzzler and you don't necessarily have to be a maths whiz to get the most out of it. <laughs>